Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Builds in the great state of Texas. I'm your host, Phil, and of course, everybody knows Duke, who's knocking things off the table. Come on, Duke, quit doing that. All right, what we have for you today is the first Bluetooth cooler I have ever done. And I did this one out of a Igloo Quantum 12 quart cooler. I think this is a perfect choice. I really, really like the way this came out. I'm using Boss 150 watt marine speakers. And I love this cooler because it has this nice little trap door right here in the top. I'm gonna get my own light here. And let's take a look and uh, see how this thing looks. It's not too tall. It's uh, perfect for floating down the river, going in the boat, taking it to the beach. Now you can't use it as a cooler, as you'll see why in just a minute you'll see the inside, but you can um, have dry storage inside, just have latches. You can put a lock on there like your phone inside, your wallet, your keys, things like that. Let's take a look on the inside here real quick and uh, show you the inside. There's the uh, USB ports and the connectors, that's the charging port. You'll see that in just a minute. Flashing there is the 50 watt amplifier with Bluetooth. And something I did, something new here, that is a lithium ion battery that I'm using there. Instead of using a conventional battery, it's very light and you have a whole lot more room. And of course, there's the speakers, the amplifier. I try to make the wiring look real nice and neat. And, uh, that's amazing, amazing sound. I'm really impressed. And you can actually store the charger down here in the bottom. So that's where I'm keeping that right there. The battery does come with a charger. And under the lid here, there's the voltmeter right there. This is the power switch. Turns on the voltmeter. And right here, of course, you have the USB port for charging your phone. And this is also the plug-in for the charger that I put right here. And everything stays nice and uh, watertight if I get the plug to go back in. There we go. So let's fire this thing up and uh, see how it sounds here. Got uh, five and a quarter inch speakers. You could go with larger speakers if you need to. I kind of prefer this size of speaker. Seems to work good for these smaller boxes here. And let's play some Pink Floyd, see what we sound like. Oh. Learning to Fly by Pink Floyd. And Duke's gonna get on the action here. It well, gets pretty loud too if I turn it up. This sounds incredibly amazing. Blows me away. What do you think, dude? Huh? Anyway, that's the Bluetooth boombox cooler, the Igloo cooler. And again, I love this little panel right here. I think it's fantastic. Perfect place for the charger, for the USB port and everything. So everything stays nice and hidden. So it gives it a really, really good look. I think it looks fantastic. I'm very, very pleased with this. This is my working model, but I'll be taking this one to the beach myself. Or hell, float down the river. And I'm gonna try to see if I can come up with some sort of an FM radio for this thing. But that's my next project in the future. Again, thanks for watching DIY Builds in the great state of Texas with Phil and, of course, my co-host, Duke. Say bye, Duke. Say bye to everyone in the United States and throughout the world. Yeah, you a good cat. He's something else. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. hope this might inspire you to build another one. And if you're in the Houston area, Galveston area, or southeast Texas, I do sell these for $165. So 
hit me up and let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. And from Duke in the great state of Texas, I bid you all good night, and we'll catch you later.